what's up guys welcome back to hmht my name is ben your host of course and today when it comes to mark West pixel we finally have another update and the one that we're talking about today is actually mark OS pixel 11.5 this is the official release version of mark OS pixel 11.5 and i have this apple developer page open here because i want to show you something so just a few days ago apple actually released the final versions of ios 14.7 as well as watch os 7.6 but when it comes to mac os pixel 11.5 apple released an updated release candidate version so this is the an updated build number and this page just says mac os pixel 11.5 rc but in essence this is release candidate number two the build number that you see here 20g71 is an rc2 build number and when it comes to mac os pixel 11.5 the first release candidate actually had 20g70 so apple updated the build number to 20g71 and when you update to mac os pixel 11.5 you should be seeing like a build number that looks something like this 20g75 and obviously when you go to your about this mark section you'll be able to see uh, how much uh, the update is taking shouldn't be taking more than uh, 16 gigs now when it comes to uh uh, new features and changes that came with this update there actually isn't a lot but there's one that i found very interesting when it comes to uh apple business school so mac os pixel 11.5 reintroduces um a feature that helps deploy m1 max to students if you are like an it administrator or a school board administrator where you manage like a community or group so it reintroduces this for apple business school managers so you have to have like a developer account and then after that you have to go further and create an apple business school it just gives you overall better control when it comes to being an administrator of systems and in order for you to see some of these releases i believe this was introduced in mac os pixel 11.5 beta 2 where you had to see the apple seed release note so i'm not actually an apple business school manager but if you are this is something that you can always look into now again another thing that was updated with this mac os pixel 11.5 has to do with apple music for artists so this is apple's website for uh, artist.apple.com and here you can see that this page has been updated to depict special audio support for Dolby Atmos, which is now available on Apple Music. So it's good that Apple is slowly integrating this when it comes to their Apple Music to give you a richer and better audio experience depending on the audio device that you are using. Now, that is something that's great. Now, there's an app that was actually updated that I would like to show you and it has to do with the home app i don't have a home pod mini device or home devices or smart home devices at home but if you do use the home device and you have uh, what you call it you have uh, like the new home pod mini that was just released and other peripheral devices the home app has been updated for more peripheral device support and timers for the home pod within the home pod app so this is something that you can always um check out if you do have those devices the maps app has been updated when it comes to mac os pixel and it basically um has been updated with major tourist attraction centers where if you have like major universities or centers you can actually get tour guides but this is being rolled out in stages to bigger cities first and then smaller cities so you might be able to see that actually cycling directions are available in regions where they were not available before and in certain areas like in new york times squares and so on in certain searches you can actually get a tour which is something that's good i'm in vancouver right now as you can see and in my area not not much has been updated so that has to do with maps just more stability cycling directions and tour guides for bigger universities tourist attraction centers and uh, and a few other places now another thing that has also been updated when it comes to mac os pixel 11.5 has to do with a podcast application so 
let's just open up the podcast application so you can see that you can actually browse your library a little bit better you can see your shows you can see your downloaded and saved and also uh if you are having an issue where your downloaded podcast were not showing up before and and like what was happening on some betas this is now showing and you can also see the latest uh podcast here there's a place where you can see the top charts and here you can actually see all the categories better um sorting i guess when it comes to the podcast app some sections have been added compared to what we have on 11 point four that is the podcast app just received some updates nothing major just minor now when it comes to this update if we go to mac os pixel 11.5 release notes you will see that you uh apple here recommends you update your apps to use new features and test your apps against api changes so this brings us to the app store where i believe last week apple was rolling out some updates for different applications and as you can see here i have about 12 updates in my app store here let's see if i can see those so you notice that compressor and then you notice motion final cut pro logic pro and i believe the apple work applications were also updated so keep an eye on your applications in the app store when this update comes out as there might be other applications that receive updates in order to work better with mac os pixel 11.5 now i know that there were a lot of people that got in touch with me when it comes to mac os pixel stating that they felt that mac os pixel is like not a stable update and to be honest yeah this update brought about a bunch of new features and actually new changes you can see just the overall design overhaul like everything was redone from the applications from a, a bunch of settings when it comes to this update so it brought about a lot of visual changes and stability wise it did have some issues i know there were issues when it comes to peripheral device connection and so on but hopefully this 11.5 as you can see doesn't bring about any major new changes or anything like that it aims to make your apps function a little bit better and make pixel a little bit better but for those uh, that decided to skip mac os pixel because of stability issues or integration issues then mac os monterey is actually in its beta stages and soon to be released and i'm actually covering it here on the channel there isn't really a lot of uh, major or breathtaking features that i can mention that were changed with this update just minor upgrades to certain applications and overall security and stability changes now there were issues that this update actually fixes and the first one that is a resolved issue with mac os pixel 11.5 has to do with the music app whereby the plays or the count here was not displaying properly and you could not see like certain albums or playlists by uh, sorting by most played or recently played so as you can see you can see your plays and also you can uh, always check out the most played albums and top 25 and so on that is a fix that's here with this update and also something else that was fixed with this update there were issues when it comes to using a smart card on mac os pixel so so with 11.5 uh, this update actually fixes Apple smart card detection when logging into Max with M1 chip for authentication and verification. So basically the way this Apple smart card works is automatic. It detects automatically, but on Apple Silicon M1 Max, there were issues with that. And this update aims at resolving that. Hopefully this update fixes your stability issues. And when it comes to Mac OS Big Sur, starting from now on i believe that we are not going to get any other major new features or major changes when it comes to big Sur because monterey is out in its beta stages and all major new features and changes are going to be focused on mac os monterey so basically i'll be covering monterey as well and as always don't forget to subscribe and stay safe and i'll see you guys in the next video very soon peace